Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Kerman, and I'm here to tell you another story. So, is everybody ready? Stand up if you can, if you want. We'll start with our hello song. We're gonna walk, walk, walk the story, gonna run, run, run the story, gonna push, push, Push the story, gonna turn the story around. We're gonna clap, clap, clap the story, gonna wave, wave, wave the story, gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the story, gonna turn the story around. We're gonna jump, jump, jump. The story gonna dance, dance, dance. The story gonna whisper, whisper, whisper. The story now it's time to all sit down. Today I'm going to tell you a folk tale. It's a German folk tale. And I found a version written by a storyteller named Elisa Perman. Here we go. Once upon a time, in the hollow of a tree, on the edge of a meadow, there lived three butterfly friends. There was butterfly red, butterfly orange, and butterfly yellow. And on the edge of that meadow, right on the edge, there was a beautiful big lawn of grass and there at the edge of that was a flower garden and these friends oh they loved flying down to the garden smelling the fragrances seeing all the different colored flowers and, and tasting that nectar mm -mm. well they were having such a good time that day they didn't notice that there were rain clouds above them. Now, it's very important for butterflies to know when the rain is coming. Well, we like to know too what day it's going to be rainy or sunny so we can plan. And butterflies are like us. They need to know when it's going to rain because they can't fly if their wings are wet and their wings might get damaged. Well, before they knew it, they felt the very first drop. Well, they were worried. Butterfly Red said, oh no, it's too late. We'll never be able to make it home. Butterfly Orange and Yellow, they said, well, I know, I've got, we've got ideas. Maybe we should ask the flowers for help. And so they did. They began to call out, oh, please flowers, shelter us from the storm. Inside your petals is dry and warm. And they were hoping that there was a flower that would help them. Well, there was a flower. There was a beautiful red flower that said, well, yes, I can help you. And looked right at Butterfly Red. I would like to help you, Butterfly Red, because you look like me. We're both red. But orange and yellow, well, you're different than me, and that scares me. Butterfly Red said to the flower, Well, no, if you're not going to allow my friends to come with me, then I'm not going to leave them out here in the rain. We'll find another flower to help us. And so they continued to fly, but the rain continued to come down. Can you do that? It's getting a little faster. Then they came upon a beautiful orange flower. Well, they had called out, Oh, please, flower, shelter us from the storm. Inside your petals is dry and warm. And that orange flower said, Yes, I will help you, butterfly orange. But not you, butterfly red or yellow, for you are different than me, and that scares me. But butterfly orange said, No, I'm not going to leave my friends behind. We'll find another flower. 
And so they continued to fly a little bit slower now because that rain was coming down even heavier. You can tap your leg. Oh, please, flowers, shelter us from the storm. Inside your petals is safe and warm. And there, there spoke the butterfly, the flower, the yellow flower. And the yellow flower said, I will help you, butterfly, that's yellow, but not you, orange or red, for you are different than me, and that, that scares me. What do you think that yellow flower, that yellow butterfly said to that yellow flower? What do you think? You're right. That butterfly, that yellow butterfly said, no way. I don't even have to think about it. If you're not going to help my friends, then we'll find another flower. And so they began to fly away, but now the rain was coming down so hard. They couldn't fly anymore, and they just sunk down to the ground. Their wings were so heavy. Just then, they heard a small voice. It was coming from the edge of the lawn where the meadow begins. And it was the voice of the red clover. The little weeds, the red clover plant. And that red clover said, we're just small little flowers, but we would love to help all three of you. You can climb up our little flowers and stay there as long as you would like. Oh, and those three butterflies, they did just that. They were so grateful. And that big sun up above that was behind the cloud, well, that sun had been watching the whole time. That sun, mm, that sun just loved the way those three butterfly friends stuck together. And it warmed that sun's heart that the red clover wanted to help them. And so that sun pushed away those clouds and came out and dried all the rain. And so those butterflies, well, before they flew home, they thanked their new friends, the red clover plants. They flew home safe and sound that day. Now they still go down to the flower garden. I mean, they still enjoy that. But if you ever for sure want to see butterflies, will you go to the wild meadow, wild flower meadow, and you'll see butterflies flitting from red clover to red clover in the sun. Okay, are you ready to say your goodbye song? Today I have a blue scarf. You can grab anything. Grab a Kleenex, a tissue, and we'll say goodbye. Wave your scarf like a flag in the air. Wave your scarf like a fish in the sea. Put your scarf down on your knees, on your elbows if you please. Take your scarf, we're marching on the rug. Wave your scarf in the air and wave goodbye. Wave your scarf in the air and say goodbye. Goodbye. Put your scarf on your lap. Now it's time to clap, clap, clap. It's time to wave and say goodbye. Apple, peaches, pumpkin pie. If you hear me say, Goodbye. Bye-bye, everyone. Until the next time.